Hello my royal friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hi my name is Grace I invite you to subscribe and join me on this royal journey. Well today is Disney's animated Beauty and the Beast 31st anniversary. Happy anniversary to Belle, Beast and all the adorable characters. This is my most favorite Disney movie and Belle is my most favorite princess. I have a few beautiful Funko Pops to share with you today and they're part of the Disney's Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary collection and I have a very, very special piece to share with you. So stay tuned to the end of this video and let's begin. My royal friends, this is the first of a few gorgeous Disney's animated Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary Funko Pops and we're going to start with Belle. I really love this Funko Pop. It's a pose that I have not seen before. It's Belle holding the mirror, showing the beast. Beautiful. I'm going to show you the sides and the back. And then the bottom just has all the information. And stay tuned because I'm going to unbox this beauty. And here she is looking so adorable out of the box. Mr. Cameraman, any comments about this pop? She looks great. And I love this scene because this is at the end of the movie when Belle goes to help her father, Maurice, which Gaston called him crazy because uh, Maurice was telling everyone that there was a beast and that he had Maurice locked in a dungeon and they didn't believe him. So Belle shows that mirror that the beast gifted her and uh, says, show me the beast, quote unquote. And there you are. What do you see there, Mr. Cameraman, in the mirror? The beast. Really love that. Love that scene. So you see the beautiful eyes. You see a little bit of eyelashes on there, her cute little eyebrows, cute little nose, and her face is a little covered with that mirror. So you're focusing in on that scene. It's beautiful. And it's her right arm holding that, and then her left arm is downwards. And so adorable. I love the paintwork. It's actually pretty good. What do you think, Mr. C? Yeah, they always do a good job. And I love, I always admire the sculpting, the work to the hair. Love it. Her cute little bow. And she's on a little stand, which is great because she would not hold herself up without a stand. <laughs> For sure. So adorable. So on to our next Funko Pop. Stay tuned. And here is another Funko Pop of ours, which is, uh, as you can tell on the bottom, a Disney Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary Funko Pop. And I really, really like this Funko Pop because this is Gaston dressed in his cool gear, ready to propose to Belle. So I'm going to show you the side side the back and here's the bottom and stay tuned because i'm going to unbox this very gorgeous but equally arrogant dude and here is gaston out of the box he looks so handsome so handsome he's dressed to the nines ready to go and propose to bell but we all know what bell says to him but he's equally looking very handsome. He's got that super cool outfit. He's got a long dress coat, which I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. Now, this pop doesn't have a stand, but it seems like when I turn it around in certain directions, he'll fall over. So I gotta kind of hold his feet. And you can see the back of his dress coat, super cool with a little buckle in the back. And look at his hair. I love the sculpting to the hair, the bow holding his hair back and a little ponytail. Turn this around so it doesn't fall over. And Mr. Cameraman, would you like to point out something that you saw that looks really cool? Uh, eyebrows. <laughs> one up, one down. Kind of reminds you of The Rock. Yeah, the people's eyebrow. eyebrow. <laughs> Super cute. And uh, he's got, looks like a, a, a goldish color vest, white trousers, black shoes. And look at the way he's posed. He's got that grip with his right hand holding onto his dress jacket. And then his other hand's out like... Look at me. Aren't I looking smashing? Definitely. <laughs> Love this Funko Pop. So please let us know in the comments below what you think of this cute little dude. So on to the next one. And I will call this my grand finale piece because he is my favorite of the day. This is the Beast and I love this and this is also from the Disney's 30th anniversary Funko Pop collection and I'll, sh I'll quickly show you the side. The other side the back, the bottom, and stay tuned because I'm going to unbox this beauty. And by the way, he is heavy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely love this Funko Pop and I can't stop giggling because he just makes me smile and laugh. He's so, so adorable. He's cute. And I think he is the heaviest Funko Pop that we have. 
Mr. Caraman, would you like to join in? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> he is so beautiful. This is a scene when Beast is getting ready for the special date night with Belle. And we all know that beautiful date night at the ballroom. Love it. And so the Beast is bathing and they're grooming him. And then there's that scene where they show this where his hair is all done in ringlets and the bow on his mane <laughs> and the top of his head. <laughs> oh boy, it was so funny. What did the Beast say he looked like? Quote unquote, stupid. Huh. And he looks so cute. <laughs> and he's sitting on a stool and he's wrapped in his bath towel. And I'm going to quickly show you the back. You can see the stool better that way. You see his little tail. And the back of the beast is so beautiful. I love this Funko Pop. What an amazing tribute to the scene. Honestly, compliments to Funko because that is a great, great uh, tribute to that scene. I just love it. Look at his face, his eyes, beautiful blue eyes. I adore this piece. And you know what? I don't think I want to keep him in the box. This is just a Funko Pop that I just want to hug. It's just so cute. Honestly, it's just a really feel good kind of uh, piece. And it just makes me smile. Just love it. So please let us know in the comments below, which of these three are your faves? Well, you obviously know which one is mine. Thank you for joining us today. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like, share, and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And for all of you, and I mean all of you who have subscribed to our channel, thank you everyone. You truly are my royal friends. And like I said, he is huggably cute. I adore this Funko Pop. He's the cutest one I think I have. Stay tuned for our next video. And on behalf of my husband, Mr. Cameron, and myself, we wish you lots of happiness. Bye for now. Mwah.